Hey friends, welcome back to another Claire Hogle video. Today we are out at Dye 4 at Casa de Campo Resort and Villas in the Dominican Republic. I'm here with my good friend, Carol Priscilla, who many of you know, and we are gonna be filming lots of content for you guys. I cannot wait to share it all with you. But today I wanted to share the three most scenic holes out here. We've got a view of the ocean and a river. It is just stunning. Tomorrow I'm playing Teeth of the Dog, which is the course they're known for out here. And I'm gonna be playing with Carol, so I cannot wait for that. But we've got some beautiful golf out here. I can't wait to share it with you. And stay tuned to see Teeth of the Dog. Second half of this video. We are at hole number four. It's a long par four, 394 yards. Into a bit of wind, but it is downhill. So this is a difficult one. I just played it, shot a couple of Instagram reels. So check them out over on my Instagram. It's linked in the description box below. So I'm gonna have to get a really good strike on this drive if I don't want to have a long iron slash three wooded. A little poey, but it's gonna work. We are sitting pretty here. And we just get closer and closer and closer. All I will need here is probably a good seven iron. Okay, really solid, but it's moving right. Right into a really weird spot on the face of that bunker. So that'll be fun. We're getting a lot more of the course than we wanted to. I really wanted to keep it to just tee box fairway green, but we're gonna get to explore a bit. And that was a big old divot. A lot of you are always asking me, well, more so accusing me of not filling my divots, but I do. Gotta take care of the course and I'll take care of you. Hi guys, this video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks and I want you to cash in on the first major championship of the season, which is why Prize Picks is offering all new users a $100 instant deposit match when you sign up with code Claire. Prize Picks adds a ton of excitement to the sports viewing experience. Just pick your player, pick more or less on their progression, and bring in the cash. It's that easy. Prize Picks is currently operational in over 30 states including Canada with the exception of Ontario and offers projection on any sport imaginable including NFL, NBA, MLB, and of course golf. So what are you waiting for? It's the biggest weekend in golf. Go to Prize Fix, use my code Claire and watch your winnings pile up in real time. Now let's get back into the video. Okay we've got an interesting one here. I haven't dealt with something like this in a while but it's actually not too bad i think i just need to make sure i get my footing really good in here otherwise i'll be sliding around and i'll have a tough time finding the back of the ball go 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 okay pretty good i left myself some work probably about six eight feet there and she rakes bunker <laughs> all right looking like eight ten feet um don't love that for par. Not really what I look for. Yeah. Let's go. There you go. Um, wow, I was really happy with that. I'm glad it held the line. And we saved par. We're now on hole number five. And look at these stunning mansions behind me. This is my favorite one. On to the golf. We have a 371 yard par four here. Again, downhill into the wind. Um, can't miss left. Draw a little bit. Okay, my ball ended up in great position just past this giant mound here. So we got the speed slot. 140 in, I have a seven iron. And I'm just gonna try to get this one started at my target instead of 30 yards right. Oops, a little chunky, but honestly, it might work. It no. worked. You know what, they say thin to win, but sometimes the chunks work too. So I have a pretty fun. So let's get take advantage of it. Mm, I knew that was gonna so die. Close. Perfect line. You just gotta give it a really good hit out here. All right. E 
easy par. I am lucky to come out with an easy two putt par, especially with that pretty poor iron shot there. So final hole that I want to show you guys, it's coming up. I have not played it yet. So we are going to be experiencing this together. But we're right on the river. It's gorgeous view, super close. That flows right out to the blue ocean. Um, I'm hoping to take a swim in there in the next couple of days here. But here we have our final hole that I'm gonna show you guys. It's a par three. A little thin, but it's got a lot of height on it. I think it's gonna get there. Yay, it's a really good shot. Okay, it looks like it could be as close as 15 feet for birdie. The course is really, really pretty. Um, I like their different like special takes on architecture, like that cute little bridge moment that wasn't necessarily needed, but um, it's very aesthetic. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of the rocks that they use on this course like that, they look like volcanic rock. Oh, bummer, that looked like it was gonna go in for so long. That is okay. We'll always take an easy two putt two par. Three pars for you guys at this beautiful course, the Die Four course at Casa de Combo. Up next, coming right up, we have Teeth of the Dog. Good morning, good morning. We are out here for day two of golf. Today we're playing Teeth of the Dog. I'm playing with Carol, I'm really excited for that. Um, but first we're headed to the Golf Learning Center with Eric Lillibridge. He's gonna give me a quick lesson, get me tuned up for the day. So let's hop right into that and then on to the golf. Basically, um, Dana Dahlquist, who is a really great coach out in Long Beach, um, he gave me a lesson on how to get in a the top of the backswing position that won't stress my shoulder, which is my top priority. It also felt way easier to get through the ball. Like it just felt like I got there, super easy. I struggle with from the top, I get steep like this. And then it's just like, what do I do from there to like try to shallow it out through the ball? I tend to swing my shoulders back, according to him, really steep, and then my my plane on my arms gets flat. And you can see what that does to my shoulder. Then I stress. start driving. Well, from that point, the club gets way behind you. Yes. And then that puts a lot of stress there. Exactly. I want to find a way that we can like work your swing mm -hmm. so that you're pain free. Yeah, definitely. Please. <laughs> so help me. <laughs> So, further ado, I want to see it. There's a big camera right there. You want to show? Pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, big, big TV screen. Nice. Keeping the hand actually like in front of you this way is, in my opinion, going to be the best thing for your shoulder. Almost like a fade swing. Okay. But not like a steep fade swing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean by that? Yes. So like shallow divot fades. Yes. Like what Tiger kind of does. Yeah. Tiger kind of hits a little lower on the face. The path wise, not coming out to end, but coming a little more neutral, but shallow. Okay. So 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 where do you make much of a divot? I take big divots. You do, okay. Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah. And that would put stress on the shoulder. Yeah. So like coming from this way, way behind you, and then coming down steep, yeah, big divot. Yes, that puts a lot of stress. Yes, there. yes. I'd want you to come down with more of your hands kind of in front of you, mm -hmm. to where you'd shallow out and not take as much of a divot. Okay. Because I think that just puts a lot more stress on your body. So basically, when you say Sorry. shallow divots <laughs> and what you've been telling me, what I'm thinking of is like just kind of almost hitting up on it and keeping that face kind of like open so that it can cut is that kind of what minor cut would be fine it, it looks like for yeah. you okay just a teeny bit shallow neutral path okay all right i'll do that again what do we got good at contact shallow angle of attack zero path fade baby fade yeah is that good that's what i would say is perfect for okay you. Do any positions concern you with regard to like my shoulder? No. No? That's the thing, that's what's gonna make it easier on your shoulder. Okay, so just continue sort of trying to 
Because as opposed to more like, like this. That's too much. It's more like this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Eric, thank you so much for that lesson. My pleasure. That was great. Um, I'm really excited to go play Teeth of the Dog, and I'm prepped and ready. I have a good swing thought, and I'm out there just going to be playing golf. That's it. I'm just going to be hitting shots. Having fun. That's exactly, that's all I could ask for. I wouldn't want to be out there trying to play this difficult course with a whole lot of thoughts in my no. brain about where this should be when there's a ball and a target in play. We want an up to shot. Shallow divots. Exactly. That's good. Yeah. Okay, super fun. Carol and I are about to go play Teeth of the Dog. Wish us luck. So there is some debate on what the most scenic holes are out here, and we want to show you all of them. Yeah. There, the staff has given us like seven holes to choose from, so I'm going to show you the front nine, which is five through seven, and on the back nine, Carol's channel is going to show you. through 17. Yep. 15 they 17. did say that this is technically the Pebble Beach of the Dominican. So I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. We've seen a lot of water so far. It has not been anything less than beautiful, so it's stunning. Yeah, it's, this place is amazing. This place is all. Well. Yes, let's yeah. do it. 120, I'm gonna go with a nine iron here. Wind is off the water, so I'm playing a shallow cut like Eric asked me to today. <laughs> you know um, again with a nine iron let's hit it solid this time there we go there we go okay that one's right next to the hole there's another one up there that's next to the hole I was filming a couple Instagram reels here so check them out I'm gonna link both of our Instagrams in the description box below for me par for you well i guess that's if you co don't consider that first shot <laughs> so you guys let me know really what that is pole six 370 let's come back from a couple of bad shots there eric's you know swing thought for me which is not really even a swing thought is working super well no se puede. No. Otra pelota. Oh. Can I get a breakfast ball? You get a breakfast ball. Have a solid comeback right now. Mm -hmm. Where do I go? Trying to come back. Come on. Honestly, Kerber, you may be aimed there. Because that was a really solid shot. Hmm. Kerber, stay there. Yeah, you're aimed there. Make sure your aim's right, boys and girls. Find a midpoint, align your club to it, align your feet to it. Aim wrong, aim wrong. Mm -hmm. Come on! One, two, six. We're going nine iron. Um, Really solid shot here. I am going to play that that little fade, shallow fade moment, just left of the hole and let it, let the wind help it in there. Oops. Didn't start it left. All right, we got like 40 feet <laughs> for birdie. But, you know, when you hit a cut, you gotta start it left. Gorgeous. Oh, go, I thought that go, was gonna go, go more. That thing just stuck, just like a stack of potatoes. Stuck. Stuck. It's so pretty with these palms in the background. Honestly, this could be a real. Oh, that's gonna go hard. Fuck it, bye. Yeah, not gonna cut that one into a real. <laughs> All right, 
Yeah, good job. We got about the same distance. We're, we're getting there. Let's clean it up. Can we try to put it at the same time? Yeah, yeah y'all should. Sure. Ooh, let's see. Puddle. We don't even deserve high five for that. That was the L. That was the L. <laughs> I mean, they were both pretty good, but anyway. I blame the view. I was distracted. It's distracting. It's very distracting. Yeah, especially if you were cutting in the direction of the ocean. So. That is I mean, hard, Carol. You were pretty much at a disadvantage right from the start there. <laughs> so, um, me too, because I was putting toward the ocean over here as well. So. <laughs> Uh, you can't expect us to play well, but it doesn't really matter when you are enjoying views like this. It kind of just keeps your spirits up no matter how you're playing. So one more hole to show you guys, then we're going to head on over to Carol's channel. Final hole, we have another beautiful island, par three, well, half island. And we are inviting Parker into the mix here. So he's, he's our pro here. So he's going to show you guys how to properly play this course. Oh, Parker, no oh, pressure, Parker. No pressure, mm -hmm. Parker. It's only a wide drive mess. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay. Not great. Not great work it. there. You got this. Yeah. Carry the team, Carol. Oh god. That's it's actually work. really gonna work. Wow, good job. There you go. Hey yo! Hit it a little chunk of donkey, but hey, it worked out. It was a good miss. <laughs> All right, Mr. Parker. Hi, Parker. I need to fill that. Wow, good job. Because I should have made it from this side. What about if you missed it? Then what were you? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us, Parker. That's You're amazing. Welcome. And thank you for having us out here. And it's just a stunning golf course and an awesome meeting. We're glad to have you guys here. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. Carol, thanks for playing on the channel. This was super fun. Really great showing you six of the most scenic holes at Dive 4 and now Teeth of the Dog. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to see more holes from out here, check in to Carol's channel. It's going to be linked in the description box below. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all those beautiful things, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.